Today I'll be calling cable. My name is Wilkar Meyer and I'm your Elliott Wave Analyst, reviewing what has been and predicting what is likely to be in cable price action. So, since the last broadcast, there's been a big change in my count, and uh, I'm seeing this thing is going long. We're on a 18-hour chart right now. So I see the current movement since uh, mid-July as five waves up. You can see it here, one, two, three, four, five, calling it a contracting, or excuse me, yeah, that's right, contracting diagonal with each leg getting progressively shorter. So zooming in now, because I don't think that move is finished yet. Uh, let's see here. Go into a 360 minute chart. And uh, here you go. Uh, each leg is, it is progressively smaller. And for the movement up, obviously we're working a fifth wave. Uh, the best count I can come up with right now is that. We've got A, B, one, two, three. It's making four and it should push up in five. So if you want to see a uh, smaller version of that, if you want to see just that uh, fifth wave of C, we're going to go to a 54 minute chart. And here it is. So you've got A, B, uh, one, two, then you've got one, two, three, four or four and five, uh, or excuse me, one, two, three, four, and probably five. Uh, three is probably here somewhere. Um, this may look shorter, but it's not. I measured it, did a pretty good job there, and it is just slightly better. So third wave is not the shortest wave. Fifth wave is the longest. And according to the channeling techniques, it follows all the rules, so I'm fairly confident about that count. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five. If that is the case, then you might expect the retrace to come back to this zone right here before it pushes up. No guarantee that it'll do that. It may just make the fourth wave push up and then come back down quickly but uh, that's something you might want to look for you know so this would be the span of the second wave and that does give us a trace for wave four potentially and getting into that span uh, which is what you would expect for a fourth wave uh, it'll probably be to the shallower side you know probably here somewhere so if I was to make a really tight prediction I would say the retrace would come in here and then push up in a fifth wave and of course that fifth wave would have to be uh, shorter than this third wave right here so let's put a price extension on there and you can see that it'll be able to touch the upper trend line and still remain shorter than the third wave so I think uh, really good trading opportunities coming up. You can trade it short if you like. I don't think I'd do that. I think I'd wait for the appropriate retrace and then trade it long. Better risk reward ratio. That's today's call. I hope you'll join me again for tomorrow's call.